Keith Shannon here, directcarpet.ca. We are on phase two, so we've ripped out some of the carpet. We're getting into the underpad. Now we're in a basement and we're on concrete floors here. Now, when we install on concrete floors and we put our underpad down, we let the pad float on top of the surface and then we use uh, a tuck tape on top to tape the seams. Now, we are ripping out someone else's job here and something I've always been kind of against is happened here. Back maybe 10 years ago, and even still to the day, 20 years ago, is the guys would come in and they glue the seams with glue. Now I'm gonna give you an example of what happens when, when you're putting it down and then you know 20 years later, 10 years later, you come down to rip it up. This is what the next guys coming in have to deal with. Now, what's bad is, is there's not that much glue on it. You can see it's a little, it's a little tight, but what? It'll start to rip and it'll start to tear. And what happens is we have to scrape this up. And this now is kind of glued to the floor. And now a lot of guys will come in and they will just cheaply go over and they won't scrape it all up. And sometimes you can't scrape it all up. But what happens if you have a leak or a flood or you have animals that have made a mess on your carpet and then all of a sudden now it's stuck to the concrete floor. So what we like to do is what you'll see in the next video is we're gonna lay this uh, the new underpad out and we are going to not glue it, we are going to tape it. So of course we're going to vacuum this and we're going to clean it up as good as we possibly can, but we think that glue is the wrong way to go. You guys can see that that now is stuck to the ground and you'll never really truly get all that out. 